Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Alright, I have found a show that I didn't even hear about or know about, and I am actually so surprised. Not only does it look pretty dope, um, it feels like I already should know where this story comes from because of how the animation style and how the characters, like, overall, um, like, introductions look. It looks very, very similar to the show about a teddy bear who made everybody do these trials and stuff. I didn't really watch all of it. I did know a lot that happened within it, but I didn't really get into it like that. So, to see another show that's kind of like it, but playing in a different way, not like, oh, you need to make somebody be fine uh you know you need to make someone guilty and solve the case or something like that. It, was, it was weird you need to commit a crime and then frame it on someone else pretty much and this show it's nothing like that but with kind of terms in the case of hey if you don't do this in a certain amount of time you do die <laughs> you know so there's a little bit of it there and there is and there isn't and this show definitely, definitely looks like it's going to be a charming one when it comes down to uh, some type of twist at the end or some type of twist throughout of it. Because let's just say you're a, like for me right now, I'm playing this game and I'm supposed if I was a streamer streaming this game, somebody would, you know, rate me out of all the other people that are playing these games that, you know, enjoy it and stream it. And somehow they would pick me out of everybody to be the, um, you know, to be the person that actually is showing this game off and that, or not showing off this game, but showing off that I'm the person who came from this game and that I'm, you know, capable of bringing in whatever they want to bring in, which their main goal throughout this whole show is to reach 100 million views. And if you cannot do that, you die. <laughs> like, you literally need to be the best streamer of all times. And once you become that, you're free to go, supposedly. And I thought that was a very amazing concept with how big Twitch has become, with how big viewership has become in just every day and age. Like, if you're talking to somebody and you guys are talking trash to each other or... If you go to someone's channel and someone's trashing on them, the usually the first thing they go to is, "Oh wow, this is a dying channel because it doesn't have views." Like, "Oh, okay." And you're clearly a no-life person who just goes around looking for something to pick a fight about or something along those lines. Like, "What what have you done all day?" And then is is this this all you've done all day is just look at someone's view counts, check all of his videos just so you can try to sound correct about you know talking trash about something so it's it's funny that this is being brought up in this uh you know in this in this anime because it's so so relevant as of today and it's it's hilarious to me so um seeing that view counts is the thing that they're truly striving for and it's almost as if a company as like youtube or twitch or something goes out of their way and kidnaps these people puts them on an island knowing it's like they kidnapped all of our big time streamers and youtubers and then put them on an island and said hey we're gonna put you through all these games you should gain views during them and if you don't gain views during them um maybe your deaths during them would give us views as well you know like that's what it kind of feels like even if you die you're still giving them you know some type of uh, viewership you know like because they have to watch you try to succeed and if you fail they got to watch that too right or are they cutting out all the failed clips and only showing the ones of them winning you know this this is the type of stuff that i love to think about once i've already just watched one episode and i'm dissecting it 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 just comes down to where is this all going to lead who is going to be you know the most 
capable of handling all this and we kind of already seen who is the most capable the main character the og the panda lover the spirit calmer <laughs> this dude could do it all man and i definitely want him in my corner at any time because not only if i fail him he won't even get mad at it he doesn't get mad at most things but to be fair I don't know what things he does get mad at, so maybe losing is one of those things, and I would be actually screwed if I lost. So maybe he's not the best partner if I end up losing at any time. But with that being said, we don't know much about any of these people besides what we learned of their specialties. We got someone that's good at dating simulators, fighting games, uh, shogeku, uh, you know, just Japanese games in general. And then we got horror specialists, escape room specialists, speed runners. You know, they, they pretty much look down the lines of anybody who probably had in the million, like, types of views of, like, when it comes down to certain types of games, uh, like survival horror and, you know, stuff like that. It's just so popular. They're like, okay, we'll just pick those categories to make these characters good at. But the girl who's a speed runner, she's like, I'm good at puzzles, mazes, and speed running. Like, speedrunning in itself is a puzzle, right? Like, you need to find little tips and glitches in the game to help you push further. Unless you're doing a speedrun that doesn't allow that things, then that just goes to show you how ridiculous her photogenic memory probably is or something, and goes to show why she likes puzzles and mazes. Um, so that's already a huge threat. Not only that... She has a little bit of extra time in the opening song. She's the girl with the glasses and, like, a lab coat on. So keep your eyes out on her. That I already had my eyes out on her as soon as the opening song gave her uh, her full face. In the like, There's, like, a face uh, montage of everybody's faces. And for some reason, her face shows up last with our main character, who's very good at everything and doesn't get mad at anything. Her and him were the only ones who really got like a full-on face reveal through the face montage stuff. So, if that's not a sign of something, I don't know what's his anymore. Um, and I kind of do just want to see how this all plays out. I mean, we got a guy who literally was running from a giant panda. The only thing he noticed about said panda is it wasn't looking down at them while it was coming towards them. So, he was safe. In, in a way, <laughs> you know, like, that, that's it. He was safe enough to feel like he could press on to that panda with no real threat involved, seemingly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's definitely what this guy's got. And then the uh, they had a, a Ouija board, or a, it's the spiritual board where you got to put your finger on it and the board can start talking through you if it's a spirit and it controls your finger or whatever. They straight up pull out one of those, and <laughs> and they, you know, they of course they're all skeptical, like who's actually pushing it around? You guys are crazy. And the first thing it asks is for is water. And the girl who plays all the horror games says, if you lift up your finger off this while uh, we're still in this, you'll get possessed. And you know, she saves one of them from not doing it. And after that. We then find a vase that just happens to be close by, almost as if they knew this is what the ghost or the spirit would ask for, right? Like, how would they know to put water close by so no one would lift off their fingers and be taken out? It's almost as if they've communicated with the spirit, maybe, and ha or had, you know, experience with it somehow. And the people that failed are the ones that probably were the test dummies to know what was needed anyway. <laughs> so that that just goes to show you that they know a little bit too much of the of the games that they're trying to win. Not to mention the whole friend business that she wanted. This is the most like touching part of the episode, and it actually was really really beautifully done. Um, him seeing a spirit, and you know she asking for a friend. After he's throw like pulled and thrown out the window by the spirit, he, he he spots her and the only he doesn't say, "Oh my God, save me! I'm gonna die." He says, "There's someone behind you," and it's the spirit girl that's there, and we don't even see her until he comes back riding the panda's head that he's made best friends with by blowing its nose or giving it tissue to blow its nose on. 
Ah, so it's like it's like oh yeah this show is crazy but it's goofy you know and it gives me the feeling of assassin's classroom mixed with uh that bear show i was telling you guys about so it's a really weird combination but at the same time it just works it's just entertaining and not only that the main character absolutely blows my mind with his kindness so i can't wait to see what you guys are saying about this show i'm pretty sure once you see it, you'll be at least a bit entertained. I mean, if you aren't entertained with how new on, like new the graphics and animation looks, like the style of it, they're definitely trying to go for something that no one else does as of recently. You know, they, it seems like this whoever this studio is knows that whatever they can do right now is what they should do and it doesn't look anything like other shows as of right now that are out at this point and i think that's you know it's already saying volumes when you could have gone a very easy traditional route but instead you're playing it uh you know you're playing it by your heart and doing something that looks unique and dope so i appreciate that as well hope you guys have an awesome one i definitely not sure if i'm gonna have another show to talk about within the rest of the day i doubt it so I will honestly hope to talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, I have something definitely dropping tomorrow, so that is always fun to see. we gotten some good shows already showing up, and if you guys have your own shows that I haven't talked about, let me know in the comments uh, what's so good about them or what you like about them, and you know, I'll check it out. If it's like 3D animation, though, like the 3D graphics of stuff, I'm sorry, I just I can't get into it. Um, and other shows that you guys give me suggestions on, I'll definitely love to go and check them out and see what you guys are watching. So, with all that being said, I am your boy, the Anime G, and I definitely hope you guys have an awesome day, night, evening, whatever the case it is when you're watching this. And I will honestly, honestly be dropping a video tomorrow. So, if you're there, I'll talk to you then. Alright, everybody. Peace.